Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and today I'm here to show you how to make this adorable pop-up gift card holder and it'll be wonderful for the holiday time and also great for birthdays or any other time where you need to give a gift card to somebody. This is a little bit different presentation of a gift card and they're super simple to make and so let's get started. So as you can see, it's a little package and it's made out of cardstock and two sheets of coordinating um, pattern paper and there is a little belly band so that comes off you can see that it just comes off there's a little embellishment piece that you can put on the front of it and then the gift card does this so you open it up and voila the gift card pops up is that not the coolest thing ever so they're really easy to make we're going to make one right now in real time so you can see how this goes together. The papers that I'm using for this are from Close to My Heart and they, it is the Confetti Wishes paper and the Confetti Wishes uh, paper has coordinating cardstock with it so that way I don't have to worry, I didn't have to worry about trying to match my pattern paper and my cardstock so that I know that my gift card would look super cute. The first thing you're going to do is start with your cardstock and I have created a design space file that all of these measurements are already done and available to cut using design space. So all you would need to do is add your paper to the Cricut mat and use the file that I'm going to give you and all of this will cut out and score for you and you won't have to do any of it yourself. But as I'm explaining it, I'm going to tell you, kind of explain the whole process of the size of the papers and how you score everything. So those of you who don't have design space right now, you don't use the Cricut Explorer, but you still want to follow along with me, you're going to be able to do that. Okay? So you're going to start with a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter inches wide by ten inches long. Okay? And then you're going to score it at three inches, four inches, five inches, and at 8 inches. Okay, So in Design Space these scores will already be on there for you and all you have to do is use your um, your score tool and it will automatically do that for you. So the cardstock base goes like this. So you're going to fold down the piece that was the at the 8 inches. Okay, Then we're going to fold up the 3 inch line and you can see these just barely meet. right? They just kind of barely meet in the middle. Now you're going to have these this is this fold line and then you have this fold line. Now in the middle you're going to have two more fold lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a mountain with this. So this one in the middle of these two need to fold up and this one folds in and this one folds up. So when you do that and you crease it you've created the mountain. Okay. So this one folds down this one folds over, this one folds up, this one folds over, and it creates your mountain. All right. Hopefully everybody can see that. It's pretty simple. You just want that middle piece to be your mountain. Now, flip this over, and what you want to do is you want to put a piece of score tape or the red line tape um, that's the double-sided extra sticky tape so that then this will hold closed. It, using a regular tape runner just isn't strong enough and um, and you really need to have this. Now I used one that was a quarter inch. You could use an eighth inch one. It doesn't really matter but you want to put that on there. Then you're going to take the liner off and you are going to then fold your mountain back and press along the edges there where the fold is and when you finish you now have a piece that is sturdy. See when I pull on it, it's not gonna it's not gonna pull apart. If I did that with a tape runner, I'd be taking a risk that it would pull it apart. So I want to make sure that I that I use the the double sticky tape. Now, you have to have a place. This is where your your uh, your uh, gift card's gonna go. So how do you get it in there, Debbie? That's closed up. Well. I'm going to use my scissors. You could lay this on your paper trimmer if you want, but all you want to do is take your scissors, and I like to use these fine point tip scissors just because they're super sharp. And these are also from close to my heart, and I love them. 
because um, they're great for little work. So I'm just going to cut the very edge of this paper. Okay, now what has happened is I have created a little pocket. Okay, so the score tapes down here, the double sticky tapes down here, that's what's holding this together, and this is where your credit card's going to go. Or your not your credit card, your gift card. Don't give them your credit card. Um, so you're going to do that, and you can test it with a, with a gift card that you have on hand. I know I always have extra ones laying around after I use them. Um, so here you go so you'll know that it'll fit in there nicely for you so this part has been done so this is the base this is the part that takes just a few minutes to put together so you'll have the fold open this up do this it's gonna pop up for you alright now out of the cardstock base you're also going to create a one inch by seven inch strip and you're going to score this at two inches and at five and an eighth of an inch on the other end and this is creating your belly band so you're going to fold that over and that will create the belly band that's going to go around your gift card okay and we'll put a little a little bit of um, adhesive here to hold it closed just kind of match that up and now I have a belly band that will go around my gift card pocket. Okay, it just slides right on like that. All right, so we've created our base and we've created our belly band. Now the next thing you're going to do is you will have you will have in the design space file all of this will be cut out for you. It'll prompt you to put the paper in and you'll do it. I use two different uh, pattern papers. These are both double-sided. It's from the Confetti Wishes from Close to My Heart. And I picked this because I wanted, I wanted to make some birthday gift cards. We have a bunch of birthdays coming up in our family. So this pattern can be used for girl or boy because it's kind of purples and dark blue and kind of a teal color and the yellow. And it's just bright and cheerful and it just kind of said birthday to me. So that's why I picked to, to show you guys this one. Um, so I could use either side. So you can use either double-sided uh, pattern paper or you could use single-sided since you're only going to use one side of it. And then I had the coordinating paper that goes in this pack that I made, that I created to make the bases with, okay, that is going to cover the larger part of the decoration of the base. So these are one and three quarters across and they're four inches this way. I'm sorry, I took that out of the camera. They're one and three quarter inches this way and they're four inches this way. So you're going to cut two of these. All right, these are the two that are going to go on the, on the flap. So there was, your, there was your base with the flap and it pops up and there's where the card goes. The flap at the top here is where you're going to adhere these. So they will go here and here. All right. So you have those two pieces. The other pieces that you're going to cut are the larger, there's four of these you're going to make, and they are two and three quarter inches across and four inches, two and three quarter inches across, and they're four inches this way. All right. This is an all over pattern, and what that means is that there's no rhyme or reason to the pattern. So you have some going one direction and some going the other direction. Those are great because then you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> um, which direction you put them down. So these will go here. They'll go on the inside of your base. They'll go one on the bottom. Okay. And then you're going to flip around and you'll put the other ones on the back here. Okay. I just use a regular tape runner. There is about a quarter of an inch, um, maybe an eighth of an inch by the time you put these on that your cardstock shows underneath. So that's why it's nice to have coordinating cardstock and pattern paper so that it looks beautimous. And once we've done that, this is what it looks like. Okay. So the magic of um, recording. So I've already put one piece here. The other piece goes here. And then you have the flap in the middle and then you've covered the back. So the entire thing is now covered. So all you see is the beautiful pattern paper that you've selected to use and then also you'll have this strip here which is where our gift card goes. All right. But while this is really cute it still looked a little plain to me. So let me show you what I've done. 
I have in the design space file, I have also given you a sentiment uh, piece area so you can either write a message to your um, gift recipient or you could stamp on it or whatever you want to do. And so this piece is actually two and a quarter inches wide and it is three and a half inches this way. Okay, so I created this in Design Space using the Cricut um, Craft Room Basics uh, image set because that's a free image set so that anyone who uses the Design Space file that I created will be able to make this project. So the base was created that way in all of these pieces. Um, cut that. I picked a scallop just as a design tip for you guys. I picked the scallop because my paper has the little birthdays all have our scallops on here. So. I picked a scallop and this will go here okay so I'll add that here and then I also thought well this needed some decoration did I want to put another piece of pattern paper there I decided no I that was boring so what I've done is that I have created the word the the for you it'll be in the design space file if you're not using the Cricut Explorer and not using the design space file you would could use stickers on this and spell out for you or you could put the person's name or whatever you want to do but for this one I put for you now here is Debbie O'Neill's trick and so that this all lines up and it's easy to use if you can see this <laughs> These are not floating in the air, people. These are actually on a strip of plastic that is from packaging. It's probably from a Cricut cartridge uh, that I bought. I keep all of those. I cut the, part, the plastic casing away, and then I keep this for projects just like this. So what I've done is I have used my uh, Close to My Heart Bonding Memories glue, and I have dabbed that onto the back of the letters. Okay, so I've glued this on. This has a nice chisel tip on it. Okay, this plastic piece, I made it so it was the same length as my flap. So hopefully you can see that. So this, this piece is the same piece as my size as my flap. And then I put my letters on here. So I glue, I put the glue on the back of the letters and then I stuck them to this and I kind of lined them up so that then they would be even. If you can see here, they'll be even when I put them on down. Okay, so since this is a two-way glue pen, what happens with two-way glue pen is that when it dries, it creates a temporary bond. So I added the glue onto the back of the letters, then I let them dry, and then I used them and I stuck them on the plastic so I could line them up. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to add just a little bit more glue to the top of these. And while the glue is wet, it is a permanent bond. So that as soon as I lay these down, these will be permanently stuck where I put them. So I'm going to fold the flap over. I'm going to line this up here where I would like to have it. That looks pretty good to me. And then I'll lay this down and I'm going to just put my fingers on here and get those stuck on there really nicely. And then I will be able to just pull up the bottom half of the letters. Whoops, sorry. I, these have been sitting here for a few minutes while I was working on the video. Um, anyway, but I can pull up the bottom half of the letters and then these will be straight, except for that Y, that U, who is not cooperating with me at the moment. Why does it always do this when you're on camera? Anyway, so, but you can do this to help line up your letters. You can use, you can use a ruler, but I like to just use the plastic because then I can line it up on there really easily. And now I have the for you on here. Okay, so the for you is on here. I can put my credit card back in here. Not credit card. This is my gift card because I do not want to uh, tell you guys to be sending your credit card to someone. That would be a bad thing. Um, so the gift card goes in here. So now when you fold this up, you have, it pops up for you and it says for you. And the finished one that I made I used a stamp set 
um, from Close to My Heart. That is the Banner and Wishes, and it says Birthday Wishes, and it's a celebration. So it's this this gift set in case you guys wanted to know what stamp set I used. And I'll, I'll include this in the bottom uh, of the instructions for making this project and on the YouTube video so you'll know which stamp sets I used in case you want to get the same thing. Um, the, so I use Best Wishes. It's a celebration. And now I have room to um, sign the card here. And you can see that. Okay. And so this completes the inside of your card. And then, of course, you have your belly band. What I did was I have also included, this is a one and three quarter inch circle. For a sentiment, you could put an embellishment here if you wanted or whatever you wanted, but I wanted to just say happy birthday. So this is the holiday tags stamp set from Close to My Heart, and it is fabulous because it has all of these shapes that you can use to work on projects like this where you need a little label for something, a gift that you're making or a tag or whatever. It works great on belly bands. Um, so, and this one matches the Artiste cartridge, close to my heart cartridge. So all of these shapes will cut out with the Artiste cartridge. And it tells you on here what size you want to cut these out. So this circle is, it says cut at one and three quarter inches. So the white circle is one and three quarter inches. And then there's all these sentiments on here. And they're all holidays. So I use the happy birthday one. But there's happy holidays and happy Hanukkah and Father's Day and Mother's Day and St. Patrick's Day and Halloween and happy Valentine's Day and so forth. So this is, was a really handy one for me to have when I'm working on projects where I'm making belly bands. I've used this stamp set several times. I stamped the image. The stamp that I use for this, if y'all want to know because the colors are so pretty, it's the new Thistle from Close to My Heart dye ink stamp, uh, ink color, and then the Pacifica because those are the two colors that coordinate with this paper pack of the Confetti Wishes. And so now my project is complete. I just have to put the belly band on here. The belly band's finished. It looks adorable. This would be make a really great gift to hand somebody. But I wanted to show you one more thing. I'm all about presentation when it's a birthday and sometimes I'm not real happy that I had to give someone a gift card because I like the joy of someone opening a gift. So I have also created, to show you guys another idea, I have created a little gift bag that would match this that would be fun to then put this gift card in so that then you would have this to hand or leave as the present. Okay, these are, um, are this is the Slate uh, Designer Collection Paper Bags that Close to My Heart sells. You get a set of 12 of them. There's three different patterns. They're like $3.95. They're like gold. I, I put all kinds of things in here. I put jewelry in here. I put treats. I've made all kinds of things with it, but I love making them for little, for little gift bags like this. The stamp set that I used on this was the, this one's from Art Philosophy, and the stamp set is called um, For a Friend, and it says, a little something for you, thanks very much, thinking of you, my friend, you're one in a million, homemade, just handmade just for you, and then there's even a little banner here that says, a gift for you, thank you, made with love and joy. So this one was really fun because, you know, you have that little something you want to give somebody, and that stamp set just worked perfectly for what I needed. So here again, I use the Pacifica ink because it matches the, the Confetti Wishes paper. Um, put that on here. And then I mounted this. It's got, I used double-sided tape, uh, foam tape, to get to pop it up a little. I made the shape of the oval behind it. And then this is from the Artiste cartridge, I believe. And I think Art Philosophy has one, too. But it is a little pinwheel that I created and put a little um, gold sequin in the center of it. And then, um, and then it's on a slight twist tie that we also sell at Close to My Heart. But anyway, but this is a little gift bag that kind of coordinates with this. So if you were looking for something else to make it a little bit more special and you bought the paper pack and you wanted to use the supplies more, um, you could make two of these out of a paper pack. Um, and then you could also make uh, two coordinating gift bags. So 
And that would be really fun to have. And that concludes the making a pop-up gift card holder project. Hope you guys love this. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I have an uh, instructional PDF on this project as well as the design space file. And you can find me at scrapmequickdesigns.com. Also, <laughs> I should say, at the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. Thanks a lot. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I've really enjoyed showing you this project. Bye.